Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks uh, to the Ranking Member, member Velasquez for uh, holding this hearing on National Entrepreneurs Day and for including me. Um, I'm not a, typically a member of the committee, but um, as you heard, I'm allowed to sit in today, and I'm happy to do so. Um, and it was an honor to work with the members of the committee to help introduce bipartisan legislation that would support designating the third Tuesday of November as National Entrepreneurs Day. And I want to thank the witnesses for being here um, to highlight the culture of entrepreneurism that spurred America's growth and for sharing your experiences. Uh, I'm proud to represent San Diego, California, which was recognized by Forbes last year as the number one place to start, uh, to launch a startup. And it's clear to see how much our region has embraced the entrepreneurial spirit that continues to grow in San Diego. And I just want to mention that the reason I was involved last term uh, was um, I was inspired by a leader in San Diego's research committee whose uh, name was Dwayne Roth, who uh, passed away from uh, injuries sustained in a bicycling accident. So this particular effort has become help, um, of some uh, importance to the entire city. Uh, his uh, commitment to promoting entrepreneurial spirit helped turn San Diego in a, into a top city for innovation. Um, I had uh, one, wanted to ask a question of Ms. Pepper about one thing that she mentioned which was, um, I think it's now called the Remote Transactions Parity Act. Um, it's, it's, it's my understanding that the various discussions of that kind of approach, which is to require online um, uh, businesses to collect sales tax so that you're not uh, undercutting um, uh, brick and mortar stores are selling the same things. That there's a, there's a typically a discussion about an exemption for smaller businesses. and. Uh, I've heard the range of that to be five or ten million dollars of annual revenue. Is that the kind of uh, exemption that would help you um, um, in, in terms of implementing this? I think Pepper? a ten million dollar exemption would be absolutely the right thing to do. Okay, so you'd favor that level? Yes. Okay, well that's very helpful for us. I think I hope that we'll be taking that up, uh, and I think you can see at the at the very large level that um, there is a disparity between um, you know folks who are uh, selling these. S big ticket items and then being undercut by online purchases. Absolutely. Um, also, I just wanted to mention, uh, for, for the benefit of the chairman, uh, um, we've introduced a bill to cut red tapes to allow um, startups or businesses with less than a million dollars in revenue to file their federal taxes annually instead of every quarter. Um, maybe this is I mean, it's typically a ways and means thing, but something that I think that uh, this committee might be interested in. Sounds like an excellent idea to me, and I'd be happy to work with the gentleman on that. Great, thank you. And then finally, um, although you mentioned uh, you weren't interested in, in federal contracting, uh, I am a member of the Armed Services Committee. Uh, we introduced uh, rules there to allow um, small businesses to be eligible to compete for some of that business. Uh, and we think that that's a successful model for throughout the federal government. And again, Mr. Chairman, would love to, to show you what, what our ideas were on the defense side and maybe make that something that's available throughout the federal government. Yeah, we'd be happy to work with the gentleman on that too. Thank you. Thanks very much. I want to just uh, say again, thanks very much. We wish you the best of luck. And uh, um, we have another NYU law graduate I saw there too. There's three of us in Congress, and we know it's expensive. So I'm glad you were able to pay back those loans. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.